Hello all my kings and queens and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I am Regina the Side Hustle Queen and this is my YouTube channel, Regina's Crazy Life. I shoot cruise tip videos as well as DIY projects every single week. So if you like to cruise and you like to make those different DIY projects so you can make your little side hustle money, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. In today's video, I am doing part two of the nameplate bamboo earrings. We're going to assemble the earrings today. If you did not see part one, make sure you go back and watch that video. I will leave the link in the description bar as well as have the video pop up at the end of this video that you can just click and watch it. Basically, part one shows you how to create your nameplate earrings using Cricut Design Space and printing them out. So make, I mean, cutting them out. So make sure you go back and watch part one because we're going to assemble the earrings today in part two. So I'm just going to adjust my camera so you guys can see what we working with. So I already cut my name and my um shadow out um like i just like i showed you in part one so let me show you some of the materials that i use um you're going to need some mod podge you can get this bottle of mod podge right from your dollar tree you're going to need two brushes um i bought a pack of i think it was six brushes in one pack for a dollar from the dollar tree so you want to grab you a pack of brushes from the dollar tree um, I use UV light to seal my nameplate earrings. Uh, you can also mix some epoxy and let it sit for like 12 hours and let it harden and dry. Uh, I don't know what beside anything else that you can use besides UV resin or mix epoxy because um, all of, I have done both methods and I like the UV resin better because it dries a lot quicker. This is what I use. Um, you're going to need cardstock paper. That's what this here is. This is cardstock paper. And so what I do is for the shadow part or the, the very first layer of my earrings, I use four, four your cardstock. They come in 25 in the pack. You can make, I don't know how many pairs of earrings with this one pack. I got it for less than $5 at Michael's a while back, maybe six, seven months ago. Michael's had some cardstock on sale, so I racked up. Um, I mostly use black for my middle part, the middle part of my earrings to make it give out that little 3D pop out look, but you can use any color cardstock. I actually got a pack of multiple colors, but I always use black because most of my customers like the gold earrings, the gold bamboo earrings. So I usually have that back part usually in gold. Now I, all, I use the single I bought a single paper glitter, cardstock um, glitter paper. It runs about $1.99. You can get it from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I usually use a coupon or it be on sale. But for that top layer of your earrings, I like to use the glitter cardstock. This is, it's a, it's a lot thicker. It's a lot glittery. It's a lot shiner. And once you put the UV resin on top of it, it just gives it that just nice look. Don't forget you're going to need your pair of bamboo earrings. Uh, these earrings come in heart shapes. They come in diff small, medium, and large. They come in silver or gold. So whatever color that you want to make, whatever color co your customer requests, just ask them as they're getting the smaller ones. I haven't done yet, but I have did medium and large. So, you know, just make sure you know a size earrings that they want. And make sure you have a ruler handy because, because the earrings are different sizes, especially if you're getting round or heart shape, you want to be able to measure your width and your height because that's how you're going to be able to tell your Cricut what size to cut your earrings. So this particular pair of earrings, the width is two and a half and the height is one inch. So I cut my card stop two and a half width and um, the height was one inches. So let's get started. Okay, so the first part of the earring, at, like and like I said, these most of this was explained in part one. Uh, you doing two pairs of earrings, so you wanna make sure you double everything. So th this is my bottom and top layer for the bottom, for my earrings. This is the middle section, and then it, this is the very top. So what you wanna do is, You want to get the bottom part of your earring. Now, what I do is because the cardstock on this on the foil looks like cardboard on the back, so I always do a flip so that that way when I glue it, it'll be like that. 
so when, when no matter which side that when you put it on the earring front or back you'll have that glitter the gold on it but for starting off i just use this and because sometimes once you get everything glued together sometimes it be uh take some lint or something on the back and i don't want that on there so i always do the last piece last so i got my bottom piece i'm gonna get my Marge Podge right here. I'm gonna use the bigger brush. I'm gonna dip the brush into my Marge part, and I'm just gonna put it all over my earring. Okay, just like that. Okay. Then you wanna grab the black of your earring. Sometimes when you make your earring, the cutter come out like the S wasn't connected to the rest of the letters, which was fine. So you'll have two pieces. So you want to, I use, I got this here also from the Dollar Tree to help me position right where I want everything to be. Just like that. I got it right from the Dollar Tree for $1. And just press it down. And then I come with my S. It doesn't matter if you get marsh polish on the front or the, the, the black. The marsh polish, when it dry, dry clear. So it don't matter because you're going to use a lot of marsh polish. Okay, once you get the black situated in place, make sure it's down. That's why I like this little pink little thing. I, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little picker. I got right from the Dollar Tree. So make sure when you at Dollar Tree, check out some of their they craft section because I'm noticing they having a lot of off-brand little things that you can use with your Cricut. So you might want to make sure you visit the craft section. They have different type of vinyl and stuff. I haven't used the vinyl, but I have used some of the tools that they got that's a lot cheaper than the Cricut brand tools, but and they is the same, use it the same way. So then, I always do two layers of everything. That's why I had everybody to cut. Two layers of gold, two layers of black, two layers of the silver. So you wanna make sure you lay that second layer right on top of each other. And like I said, this little pointy piece helps you guide everything right into place. Just that easy. And I just pat it down to make sure everything connected around my S. Lay it right on top of the S that was already there. Make sure it's in place on top of the other one. And again, don't worry about if you got too much marsh polish on the ear rain because guess what it's going to dry clear anyway and then each layer you want to add a little more marsh polish so we got the first layer of gold silk or uh, gold on we got both layer of our black and now we're finna add the silver Same thing, just layer it right on top. That's all you're doing is layer, layering. Once you get that, sit. Once you get your your silver glitter in place, add another layer. 
And if you don't want to use the black card stock, you can always use, if you're doing silver glitter, you can use like a gray card stock for your middle section. It's just with the earrings, it's completely up to you. Don't be scared to get the Mosh Posh on your hand. It rubs right off. Now, I did notice that only thing with the second layer of glitter, sometimes it's a little bit, it don't stick as easily as the black layer, but it will stick. You just take your time. You don't have to rush. This is a, a nice, quick, easy DIY project. Most of the time it's spent is waiting on it to dry. If you're finding that your card stock is not sticking together, that might mean you don't have enough not marsh polish on there. So just add a little bit more marsh polish and it should stick after that. I just like to add two layers of the glitter cardstock, but you really don't have to add two layers of that. But that's optional. I just like that 3D look where it looked like it's popping off, popping out of the earring light. So that's why I use two layers of the glitter cardstock. But you don't want to use too much cardstock because it's gonna it'll make your earrings heavy. So that's why I just use two layers at everything. I don't want the earrings to be heavy for the customer. Okay, once you got everything all layered on top, you're gonna do it a second time for your second pair of earrings. We're gonna lift this up so that we can put that bike portion on. Just flip it over and your glue, your Mod Podge. Okay, now all you do. At this point, sit it to the side, do your second pair. What I do is so that it won't dry too thick. So I get some of that thickness of the marsh polish from out of the cracks. Again, marsh polish is gonna dry clear, so don't worry if you see a lot of marsh polish. You can always dip some of it out if you want to, but sit it to the side and let it dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the second one. I'm gonna do the second one while I let this let this dry and then we're gonna come back after both pair dry, okay? So um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I usually let the Mod Podge dry for like an hour and then I go ahead with the UV resin. So um, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, welcome back everybody. We at the stage where the Mod Podge has completely dried and your earrings is going to look like this. The good thing about, like I said, if you use too much uh, Mod Podge, too much is okay, too little is bad because you want to make sure everything sticks together. So when, Because when the Mod Podge dry, it's going to be clear, just like this here. So what we want to do now is... Now that the Mod Podge is dry, your, your earrings, you know, it's wobbly like. Because remember, we use cardstock to um to make these earrings. So we want to make them hard. It's two ways that you can make them hard. You can get, if you got some epoxy, mix your AB epoxy on there. Um, mix you up a small amount and just brush it on to the earring. Let it dry for like six to eight hours. Flip it over and put some more epoxy on the back. 
or you can do like I do. I use um, UV resin. And what I do is I make sure the sun is out and I brush some UV resin on the front, sit it in the sun for two hours because the sun is a natural um, UV. Now, if you got a UV light, I do have a nail UV light, but you got to keep hitting it every 30 seconds and I don't have time for that. So basically, I live in Florida. The sun is always out and it's free UV. So I just um, brush some UV resin on the front, put it in the sun for two hours, and come back, brush it on the back, and then sit it out for two more hours, and then the earrings be nice and hard. So what we finna do now is I'm finna show y'all how I brush on my UV resin, and you do the, the same way if you use an epoxy. The good thing about epoxy is you just let let it sit in the house somewhere and let it dry. I just take and I put a line all the way across my earring or my my put my name plate and then i take an old brush from the dollar tree and i just brush the uv resin all over the name plate just like that if you get a little bit of resin on your hands it's okay it wash right off because you're not in the sun so it's not going to be hard on your hands and then i just take the sec the other one and i just brush it on brush it all the way through Make sure you put enough resin on there because you want them to be nice and hard. Just that simple. Just brush it on. Brush it on. Dab it on. Brush it on. Dab it on. Just get it on. Whether it's, res whether it's a UV resin or it's epoxy, again, both of these dry completely clear. And you want to make sure you put enough on there so that the earrings, once they dry, they are completely hard. So once I sit this out in the sun for two hours, I'm just going to flip it over and put some resin on the back and let it sit in for two hours. And I will see you guys in four hours after these earrings. It's completely nice and hard. And we're going to wrap up the final phrase of this video. See you guys in four hours. Hi, everyone. And we're at the final stage of the bamboo earrings. So your earrings, whether you use epoxy or the UV resin, they should be completely dry and they could, they're going to be hard. You'll think they hard. So they is completely sealed and they ready to be placed on the earrings. So for the final stage, all you're going to need is your earrings, whichever pair you decide that you want to get, your name plates that we already made, and the E6000. So what you want to do is take your earrings off of the little tab that they come on and what i usually do is i just close my close them up and you want to make sure that both of your points is facing each other make sure both of these points is facing each other so that that way when they go into your ear you'll be able to read the name on it so make sure both of the points is facing each other okay then you're gonna eyeball it now what i usually do is right right kind of in the center i'll put some e6000 right in between this this arm loop and that loop and then right on the other side same thing with the second pair i already know which loops i'm going to use i'm gonna put e6000 on and you can just put your earrings on and eyeball it okay so what you want to take your e6000 Don't laugh, y'all. I'm a ghetto fabulous. You know, with this E6000, it get dried on. Okay. And a E6000 also dry clear. So, I like using the UV resin and the, the Marsh Posh and the, the E6000 because guess what? It dries clear. Okay. Just going not too much. Don't let you don't want it running all over. So I'm gonna like I just did. The good thing about E6000 though, you can wipe it off and it'll dry on your hands, and you can just rub your hands together, and then it'll um come right off. So I got my you can't see it because it's clear, but I got my E6000 on the earring, and I just laid it lay it right on there. Press it down. Make sure it's straight. You have enough time to straighten it up just like how you want it because it takes about, about an hour for the E6000 to dry. I'm just going to show you guys. And all you got to do is let it dry and you have your bamboo earrings just like that. So I'm going to go ahead 
and put E6000 in the exact same spot on my second earring. If you don't want, make sure you don't want to put too much on there, just dab it on. But you want to make sure you can see the E6000 on the earrings. You want to make sure you put enough on it. Now, because if you're sending it to a customer. Because um, I made me a pair and left them in the car. And they actually still, still the E6000, they still together. Surprisingly, but it is. E6000 is a really good glue. Kind of always put my earrings side by side to make sure that they. If you off like an inch or two, it, it's not gonna be that visible because they on two different sides of your head. But you want to try to get them as close as the center as possible, and you want to try to get them as straight as possible. I always lift it up. Look, take a look at it. That side is a little bit. You don't want to hold it up too long when you first put the E6000 on because it ain't set. I think this one right here. Okay, now there we go. Got Sherry and Sherry side by side. They look straight. And this is... If it's these going to a customer, so I'm basically just gonna let them sit for. I usually let them sit up overnight because they, I'm not gonna ship till tomorrow. But uh, there you have it, your bamboo earrings. So just let that E6000 sit before you start lifting them up, because until the E6000 actually catch hold, the earring will keep slipping every time you lift it up. But that's how you put together your bamboo earrings. In about an hour, these babies will be ready to go in your ear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to actually make bamboo earrings. Um, don't forget to join my Facebook group, Side Hustle Cream Creation. Post your earrings in the group. I want to see what they, how they came out. You can always, if you, you know, when you do your earrings, when you're making your cut, you can make it. I done made um, bamboo earrings where the names was um, a lot bigger than these. But to me, this is a perfect size for the this earring. That's perfect size for the earring. That's how you make your bamboo earrings. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.